Hey guys, what's up? Detective One here, and um, this is a uh, uh, video of um, DS Lite. I know these kind of came out of their little, like they came out of uh, what do you call it, production? And I guess they don't, they don't really make them anymore. But I decided to uh, make a review of it because a lot of people actually uh, like these systems like this instead of like systems like the PSP and the 3DS. So um, start. I decided to do a review. I traded the DSi XL and for this because um, yeah, you, I'll tell you guys right now, but. Before that, uh, I want you guys to go click subscribe and comment down below. And um, yeah, so yeah, I traded this in. Well, I traded it with somebody for um, DSi XL. And um, anyway, guys, yeah. So the 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 DS Lite is a great system. Um, they don't make them anymore. Like as of like May or April. Um, yeah. So I'll show you guys around the system. Let's zoom out. Um, the charging port right here, um, this is different from the DS, um, DSi, game cartridge right here, slot, it's a slot one, um, the wrist strap thing, you can put a wrist strap, um, L, L and R buttons right here in the back, um, nice matte finish, I'm not matte finish, I'm glossy, um, unlike the DSi, right here is like just plastic feeling, um, battery pack right here and the most but the best thing about this uh, GBA slot so you can put in all GBA games the volume slider um the headphone jacks you can plug in a uh, 3.0 millimeter headphone jacks this thing and play games on it with that in the stylus um yeah so I'll show you guys around the system and now uh, I'll show you guys inside of it so the buttons are a little squishy which I kind of don't like about it. If it, I think it's a, it's alright because I kind of like the feeling. If you like playing like if you're playing like a game like um like Pac-Man or something on this, it feels a lot better because um because this kind of feels like more like a joystick or like uh, a, like an analog stick. Yeah, it feels like more like an analog stick or a joystick. Like so so even though you're probably saying oh it's not like clicky, so I don't like it. It is pretty good because it just feels like more like a joystick and it's better for those type of games like that. We should be moving around like that. Um, A, B, X, Y. Um, yeah, Y, X. Um, the L LED to tell when it's on. And microphone. And when I need charging, I think it'll turn red. And, yeah, I'll turn red. This is a speaker. It's two speakers right here. And, yeah. Start select. Um... The one main reason I got this was because it like it plays lots of lots of games. It plays um, games like DS games like this, like adventure games like Mario, and it also plays like games like Pokemon. And yeah, so it plays a wide type of like a wide variety type of game. So Pokemon, anywhere from RPGs, adventures. Type of game like that, like any type, any type of those games, puzzle games. You get every type of game you could get on this racing game, like Mario Kart, and uh, just any type of game you really want, you could get on this thing. And one of the really cool things about this is you get a GBA slot, and I'll put in a, a GBA game right now. Um, that's one of the main reasons I got this actually was because I had the GBA slot, and that's a really uh, big deal for me because I'm a person who likes to play the old GBA games. Um, I know, I know a lot of people just like to play game, I mean, DS game and stuff, but a lot of people do care about this feature. Put it right here. And it, it does come with a, uh, failure for it. Um, so here it is. It just, it does stick out a little bit, you guys can see. You got the DS like, it's like this. So it does stick out. But that's not a big deal. And it works fine, actually. So turn on the system. And so we get, you can play both on here, and I'll show you guys the menu first before I do anything. Up on top right here, you get your name, you put your name in there, your date, the time, and all stuff, the battery. It'll be red when it needs to be charged. The brightness, which is one of the biggest features of this DS Lite, because I think this has the best brightness out of all the DS's, um, DSi included. So get that, that, and that. And this is... Yeah, one, 
So you get a few brightness settings. That's the highest, which is not really good for the camera. That's the lowest, middle, kind of bright, brightest, right? I'll keep it right around here. I'll keep it the lowest for you guys to see it better. Um, you got Pixel Chat. It's where you can mess around with your friends and stuff. And DS Download Play, where if you have a game like, let's say, Mario and Super Mario Brothers, you could play that and, um, yeah. You know, you, without, somebody could have one cartridge, but equal playing with another person. Um, and there's not really a menu, but you get, it's not, it's, the menu's alright, the DSi is a lot better. But this is simple and straightforward, which is good. Um, uh, settings, you get to choose what you want, top or bottom, I like top better. Um, let me zoom in here. Um, date, time, your user, like your name and birthday and message and screen calibration. Alright, so um, the next is we're, we're, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay. Um, the buttons are pretty responsive. I don't know if I said that yet, but they are. And the volume's good. And here's one of the really good things that it can, well, not only can play GB games, but if you don't know, the Game Boy um, Advance could not, did not have um, here you go. the Game Boy Advance did not have a headphone jack, sadly, and um, that's one of the that's one of the big things about this that it didn't have a headphone jack, and people like this volume is not that loud, which is a bad thing, but it didn't have a headphone jack and people want to play with headphones on to make it hear louder, and that's one of the things this does have so take that into consideration that way if you're gonna buy one of these off of eBay or something because this does have a headphone jack so you can play GBA games and listen to um, the head on the headphones if you think they can a party or something so I'll show the GBA game first here we go the volume is pretty loud actually they play fine. Um, the only thing that you have to take and to think about when you're buying this is the, like a little black line when you're playing GBA games. That's not a very big deal, though. Yeah, that's not a very big deal about the little black lines. Um, to just, just remember this though that like it plays GBA games and it works fine and it works good and there's not a problem with it. Um, yeah. And the speakers are pretty loud too. Let's play one of these levels. Uh, we can't play the back levels. There you go. So, yep, GBA games are plays back out of here like this. This is Super Mario World if you think, if you're guessing, you want to get it or something. Plays fine. It works good. The screen is, um, yeah, I just died. Epic fail. Uh, so, yeah. Please, GB Games, it works. Works good. Um, I turn it off and on to play the other types. Um, and the DS games. If you're thinking about buying one of these systems, guys, I would, um, I would go for the um, this this DS Lite because the DSi XL and the DSi and the, the D3 DS and everything it does not have Let me just pause it. I hope you guys can see that. Yay. You can get two dual screens, you would think we all pretty much know that. It's kinda hard to play the camera. Yep. Yeah, and it works good. And again the brightness is very, very better. Um This is if you if you're thinking about buying a DS guys, I would um recommend getting this one. It plays old Game Boy games, um, old Game Boy games, 
like Super Mario Bros. and your favorite Pokemon game, Fire Red, Leaf Green, all type of games. And it also does play DS games. So the battery life of this thing is about I I can't I don't really know, but it lasts. I can't like give you the exact number, but I think it's about 10 hours. I would like think like the highest bright, the highest settings on. Um, yeah. Again, a really good, great device. Um, a few bad things about this, cause you know this is there's nothing, there's never gonna be system that's still always you know the best. Um, uh, the they do the cartridges of the Game Boy do stick out a little bit. Um, this DS Pen, mine is falling out. It's tilted up a little bit. Yeah. Um, the the power button, this power switch. It's kind of really bad. I forgot to mention that. If you're playing a game, you could oh, you could just turn it off. Like, okay, you're playing a game. Um, you actually just say so you're playing, you're playing, and then like you're, you happen to go right here and it, like shuts off and then by accident, like it happened. Especially this button right here. Especially if it comes loose and stuff, because over time the buttons do come a little loose and stuff, like the slider buttons. Um. Yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? It's very good. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say this too. I used to have one of these. See right here. I used to, and then look what happened. This. Yes. Um, same as that. DS Lite. Everything. DS Lite. Um, yeah. So I had this one. It was in. This one's in red. And this happened to it. The hinges start, just started getting weak and everything, and it. Just fell apart like this. And then in 2011, I got this. Um, yeah. So, um, the one of the bad things about this is again the screen, like I just showed you guys a second ago. The screen could just come apart like that if you drop it. Like, if you drop it from about, like, um, like, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe like a table, just like a, a desk or a table around there from your bed or like around there. If you drop it anywhere around that, your the screen is probably gonna get like a little loose and. You drop it a few more times, it's done. That's one of the things you have to worry, um, like worry about. But I would just recommend getting a case like I have. Get a case for it. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a review of that case too. Um, that's the one thing you have to worry about. Another thing, um, which is not really a big problem, but it's a, it's, a, it's something you have to take into consideration. Um, the power slider, it's not too big. Nothing big. It gets a little loose. Mine's already starting to get loose. Like sometimes it'll be like at over here and you tilt it and it goes down, but yeah, it's perfect. Um, it's all right. L and R buttons, they work fine. Although mine's, um, they did get like um, on my old one right here, this old one, it did get stuck. I was like when you play Pokemon, you have to switch boxes in your PC and everything, and type those type of games where it takes advantage of the L and R buttons. That's the type of games where you're gonna be having problem problem with. You have to like get it, get that fixed. You send send it to Nintendo and stuff to get that fixed. That's a pretty big problem. But if you just be careful and stuff with it, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't have really have a problem with it. Um, the reason they give you this is to keep your um slot clean. Um, how you hold it? That's a kind of a problem people say. So some people hold it like this, like they put their fingers up here, like this and that and they hold it like that they hold it like this and right here the edges are kind of sharp um the edges are kind of sharp which is a little bit annoying but if you if you use it like that if you just hold it like this you won't have a problem if you have bigger hands it might be a problem but i'm saying like don't hold it like this just hold it like this and you'll be fine you don't have a problem and one thing is your hands something like that don't go like you know like that um Great system, great system. I wouldn't recommend this. Um, anybody who wants to play uh, a lot of games, like all like type of games and stuff, adventure, all of it. I would even recommend this over the PSP. It, I think it's a better system over the PSP and everything. A lot more games. This only has a few good games. PSP. Anyway, I I would recommend getting this to anybody. GBA slot. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is a thing, the screen falling off, like mine did. That's not too much of a big pro big of a problem, but I'll wrap it up. Peace.